Good morning guys welcome to today's video um today's video was started by our our new bird levi and he is here and he is so funny and so much fun and the most work i've ever had in my entire life the most work he, he said his name. did he yeah. right. he basically wants to play with every single thing that is not his every single thing amazing what you do to try and get to try and get your bird to dance for you we have turned into a whole different family <laughs> we're all obsessed with Levi <laughs> getting ready to go to the barn we have been loving Levi so much I remember um, I've been thinking about all the times that I babysat for my sister's parrots while she went away and stuff over the years and um, literally it was always so much fun for me and I always really liked it and this is so much better um, before we leave we put him back in his cage and I, I don't have a good spot for it yet. so I always bring him over and put him in front of this window because even though he has toys He's used to them. It's not as stimulating anymore. I'm going to get him some new stuff. But um, he really loves to look out and watch the squirrels. Before we got our bird, I know a few people said, don't do it. You're going to suck at it. Don't do it. And I just want to say to any of you guys, and I said this to the girls last night, if I listened to every single person who told me I shouldn't do something, my life would be a shell. I would not have had my first baby. I would not have had my second baby. I would not have had my third baby or Gabby or Sophie. Um, people told me I was too young. People told me I was too old. But yeah, like I wouldn't have them. I wouldn't have any of our pets. I wouldn't have, I mean, there are so many things. Uh, people told me, so many people told me not to meet Sam. So many people because I met him on the internet. If I listened to every single person who told me not to do something, I would have nothing in my life. Only people who can make the right decision for you is you. You have to make your own decision and nobody else has lived in your shoes. And there's always going to be people who think they're better at something than you are and they are better at doing it their own way. Everybody has their own way. There are many ways to do something. There's not just one right way. And I think that that's what happens. People just get so caught up in thinking that um, you can only do something one way and if it's not their way, it's not the right way. But I just want to encourage you guys that follow your dreams. Make decisions based on your life and what you want and not what other people want for you because only you live your life. So live your life your own way. I told the girls I'm gonna start walking down with them to get the horses. But when I walk down with them, it takes us three times as long to get the horses. And we can't be always all day at the barn. So um, I said to them today, like, you guys are gonna have to go on your own. And literally uh, 10 minutes, 10 minutes to the minute. And they were back up here. Like, yeah. that's massive. Love this girl's beautiful butt. Yeah, she's so fuzzy right now. Like, she's so soft. Mom, feel. Slippery. Slippery, yeah. Like, 
so soft. Oh my goodness. I wish you guys could feel her. I've never felt a horse this soft before. Oh, you never touched Azzy? Oh yeah, Azzy has a lot of fur. I think she's gonna have a lot of fur. So Gabby is getting ready for a show. She'll have another lesson tomorrow. Uh, she's. I wanna practice with some really scary flowers. Yeah, that's a really good idea. <clears throat> because I wish our barn had flowers and like the type of flowers that they had at other barns. We do. So that we could practice. I will find you some flowers. There's gotta be some flowers around here. All right, get tacked up. Face yeah, her face is not as soft. Gabby has all signed up for her horse show. This is a totally different one, you guys. This is a whole new place. You're getting a stall this time, Gabby. You rent really? stalls at this store, at this show. Oh boy, I like that show a yeah. lot better. I love this show. <laughs> You've never even been there yet, and you love it? Yeah. yeah, so Storm will get a stall. And even though we love going around with him and like taking him for walks, like a two year old, taking him places. I posted a picture on Instagram where we're all underneath this sun shelter and he's entered there with us. Like we love that stuff, but it'll be nice to actually be able to put him in a stall and well, walk away for five there. seconds. Like yeah, I'm not gonna be there. Sam's gonna be there. It's at a totally different place. Um, Just like Trillium. I don't think it's, I don't know. But anyway, so he'll have a stall. And um, I think he's gonna trailer with our barn. And it's easier for dad because um, I'm not gonna be there and you guys have to get done and be finished as soon as you possibly can. It's just a lot less work. So this time he's gonna trailer with the Come barn. feel her chest. Jumping boots. Are you gonna use, do you, do you want me to go find the back chest. ones? Yeah. Okay. Guys, feel I know her chest. chest. Yeah, it's all loose. See her skin? She's all loose. She no. needs to firm that up. It's How soft. Small. Yeah, wow. Look at that fat, though. Sophie, how do you feel about not showing in this thing? In this show? Feel good. She feels good, she said. Why do you feel good? Um, because I need a break from showing. You need a break from showing? Yeah. yeah. Gabby, do you need a break from showing? Uh, no. Heck no. <laughs> I'm kind of excited to have a break from showing. Even though we only showed once a month for the summer, through the summer, this is our fourth, this is her fifth show. Um, actually, this is only her fourth show. I actually, it's a lot of work, guys. It's a lot of work. I'm excited to see how Sam makes out. Found flowers. Storm, you're about to meet flowers. No, he's jumped over flowers. Yeah, he has. Gabby wants to These be weren't the flowers that I was talking about. They weren't? They weren't. They're like, you know that kind that you buy at the dollar store? Yeah. Like, that looks like real flowers? Yeah. But those They're will do. Foam, like mesh. Yeah, but those will do. She's so excited. She's so excited. <laughs> he's like, oh goodness. But he's such a good horse. So his hair is getting so long that it looks so pretty. And that's the trot that Stella needs to do to get all firmed up. And there we go. Good girl, good girl. Wow, they're both happy today. You know what, going out and being out yesterday at the beach, it really livens them up, it changed things for them. When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things it took from me I know that I am so much better She's doing so good. Okay, you guys remember I complained that we were having a hard time with her, blah, blah, blah. Well, we're, she's, she's been amazing. Arm is turning into a Stella. It's going so fast. Um, so a lot of you guys have been saying the same thing as our instructor. She needs to do more patterns in the middle and that's what she's been working on. She um, is not gonna stop in the middle anymore. She's been stopping in the rail, but not at the front of the rail, right? Not at this end, because this is the end where she leaves the arena. So she's gonna be stopping down there. Oh, I just heard a big bang. So lots of in the middle work. It's hard for her to do patterns when she has another rider in the arena at the same time. So Sophie, the last two times she's ridden, she has been trying to practice one stirrup. One stirrup. Got to start slow. One stirrup. 
So she's pulling mane instead of rain. So hey, that rhymed. So, so if she gets unsteady, she'll pull a mane a little bit instead of a rain so that she. Mom, try and do two pointing while you trot without stirrups. Two pointing, trotting with no stirrup? That would be hard. I have done that for two laps. You did that for two laps? Do you have no stirrups? Oh my gosh, do that again. And I have to do the trotting for two laps. My thighs are aching. Oh my gosh, I did, on my lesson this week, my legs were aching. We're gonna attempt. You're gonna attempt. Canter from the halt. Canter from the halt. Throw those, what we're doing. Nope. Here, I'll show you a canter from the halt properly. Okay, why does Storm throw off his head every time you ask for canter? I forget. I don't know. Because he's a Western horse, and there's a reason why Western horses do that, and that's why he does it. Oh, because he has to puff up his body. Jump. Go. There we go. <laughs> you guys speak exactly the same language. That's why you guys get along so well. You know what he's thinking. Flowers, you're okay, Storm. Sam and I are at the grocery store fighting because we're having this birthday, birthday cake. I should get whatever I want. Yeah, and so basically, um, he wants this cheesecake right here. We're still deciding. He wants this cheesecake here, but nobody else will eat cheesecake except for him and me. And I, Gabby will eat it because it's chocolate. But he also really likes this chocolate brownie mudslide cake. Which nobody will eat but me and Gabby. Mm -mm, I, I like chocolate cake suddenly. It's the first time I've ever liked chocolate cake. I brought you guys, what do you think he's going to go for? One just for him or one that he can share with his daughters? No pressure. You decide. Banana cream cake? No. Ooh, like you won't eat banana cream. All right, that's my choice right there. Pina colada cake. Banana, cake. Sam wants a carrot cake. Right. Sam had, Dad had a choice between a cheesecake or a cake that you guys would like. Guess what he chose? Cake that we like. Yeah, let's see. It's a super yummy cheesecake. I don't Wait, is cheesecake? So, Yesterday was Sam's birthday, but we're celebrating today because we just didn't have time, right? Is this cheesecake? That's right. No, that's not cheesecake, it's carrot cake. Okay, Plus good, you out. said a super yummy cheesecake. A super, a super it's yummy cheesecake. carrot cake. It's cheesecake. It's carrot cake. Happy birthday! Are you gonna wipe your face on my, on my face? I know that I am so Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.